Hello everyone on YouTube. Um, what I have here are some 3D printed items I like to call fingerboard gear. Uh, our nine-year-old um, went to his mother and asked her, uh, since dad has a 3D printer, can he make me some stuff for my mini skateboards? So I sat down and I started designing all these different designs. And we're now up to series eight. Uh, in each series, you'll find different types of ramps, decks, uh, obstacles, and scenery. And uh, all of all of which can be found on Thingiverse. So I'd like to go over all of what I have here. It's just a couple of samples from a few of the sets. Here we have a uh, replica of a concrete pylon. You can print as many of these as you like, set them up for your obstacles. Here we have a uh, one style of ramp I designed for him with a rail. Um, how I've attached some of these, um, the way the designs are set up, there's uh, these little holes that you can print off your little dowels and you can connect them so you can uh, take them apart later on. But how I've connected these for now is just with hot melt because uh, I don't intend on taking them apart. If he wants more, I can just print him more. Um, here we have the loop to loop. Um, some of these designs you'll see in the time lapse videos, and some of them you won't, as I had two printers going at the same time and only one being filmed. The loop to loop is a little rough on the top, but overall it turned out not too bad. A little bit of heat from a heat gun will flatten the, the, the first layer out. Even though I did heat, have a heat bed, and this is printed in PLA. Uh, I still had a little bit of warping issue down in the corners because it is a little cold this time of year uh, up here in the north and uh, my uh, office where I print them in my house uh, is a little cold and it causes me to have little issues in the winter but it still turned out not too bad we got some replica replicated brick here as well as a, a replicated concrete top railing we have another one here. We have a design here. This is this is a three-piece print. You print uh, the two ramps, the left and the right. And you print the small rail, and you just combine the two. So he's got lots of uh, lots of places he can do his stunts here on his rail, and down his ramp. You come up here. You can come up on his rail. You can go down his ramp here. You can go up his loop to loop here. I'm no expert with a fingerboard either. Down the other side tricks up on the, the mini pylon here's another piece this is um, one two three four five six seven eight components uh, hot melted together I had an accident with this rail here I broke on the print so I still used it though um, we got a ramp and then we got another spot here we can put two more attachments or we can hot melt two more components or we can even put another ramp here and we can add them and there's a few different style ramps with a different style logos embedded into them in the top we have a couple of ramps that have uh, brick uh, brickwork on them and a couple that are just plain on all four sides as well as uh, uh, the wall in between the stairs here has a lot of brickwork detail we'll take a good look at that all the way around some uh, designs and logos embossed into them. And they're set up, uh, I designed them in such a way that a lot of them uh, have these sh shallow open areas to try to optimize uh, what you can get out of a roll of plastic. This one here I think will be one of his favorites because he has so many options here. And then there's another, uh, in one of the series, there's another large ramp that can be printed and put here. And we have a larger ramp. Um, it's optional to print this small ramp that goes with it. The two of them I've just attached with a little bit of heat the bottom just to make sure that I'm pretty flush down there take your 
take your fingerboard all the way down, do whatever trick you want, use the railing on the top. The railing is a separate piece that also gets printed. It doesn't, uh, the printer ramp doesn't require you to print the railing. We have a couple of uh, replica of some steel drums here with the Toxic logo on them. Nice little steel drums, concave bottom. They sit flat. You can print, print as many of those as you like. You can mix and match. There's also, in some of the sets, there's a locker uh, that can hold two fingerboards. With a, a closable door, all you have to do is print a little dowel. There's a picnic table, park bench, uh, and a pallet. Uh, there's also several other style of ramps as well as a pool. One of the bigger components, um, this component you can print four of these and attach all four of them together to make yourself uh, a nice bowl shaped uh, deck set with the railing around the top and all around uh, the outside are all the different logos designed that come with the set. Play around up here, go around here, print two more, make a bowl out of it. Or there's another set of ramps uh, similar to these, but the opposite that go like this, that match this. So you can print as many of those as you like, and you can extend this out to as big as you want it. I don't have those printed off right now. Um, this is all I've printed off so far. Right here, total, I've got uh, 47 hours worth of prints all time lapse down to uh, five minutes in the video. So the majority of these were printed on two of my printers, uh, my Cronxy X3 and a large custom Delta that I made. Uh, everything printed out pretty good, pretty flawlessly, even the railings printed. This was printed, I printed these, all of these, even though the rails are separate attachments for most of them, I printed them with the railings on them, except for this set. The railings were printed separate and then glued. This one, there was a little bit of issues with stringing, but the other two here, there, there was no issues with stringing. And uh, this guy had a lot of stringing, but that's quite a span to print out midair, but it still turned out pretty good. We got a little bit of a mess in there. We just cleaned that up. Otherwise, we got a nice loop-to-loop -loop for his uh, mini skateboards. Um, so that's all I have to say about them for now. Uh, maybe when I've gotten a few more printed and maybe a few more sets it up, I'll do another video. Uh, until then, check out my uh, Thingiverse page. You'll find all these designs up on Thingiverse, as well as uh, quite a bit more. And uh, check me out on Facebook as well.
What do you think of these? Good. What one's your favorite so far? This one. Yeah? Not the coolest one? Yeah. Some of them pretty big? Yeah. Gonna print you a bunch more? Yeah. You have more tech deck uh, sets than anybody else you know? Yeah, and nobody else around here has these types. Because nobody else around here has a 3D printer. Yeah. That one pretty cool. There's a big pig on this one. What are you going to do when you get all these together? You're going to set up a great big uh, stunt park. skate park? Yeah. Where you can do all your stunts? Well, no, it's not yeah? Are you happy with these so far? Yes. <laughs> See you later, YouTube.